Hey, it's Chuck Karstensen, Remax Results, another live video today, back-to-back -back days doing live videos. Yesterday is in North Branch, today I am in Kimball, Minnesota. You might say that's like the opposite end of the area. So, as a reminder, when I do these live videos, I like to have a topic sometimes. We're going to tour the house, I'm going to cover a topic. And today's topic is what is a normal market, and also a front based on what I just said, like I was a live video yesterday in North Branch, today in Kimball, tomorrow I'm doing one in Sturgeon Lake, is that the Carstensen team, we do cover a expanded area, and we're really good at figuring out the market in each area and helping buyers and sellers in both areas. So today we're going to start with this home in Kimball, it's on 271 Publisher Drive, and some of the notes are above the video if you're watching on Facebook Live or watching the recording. We also share these out to YouTube, so you might watch this in the future on YouTube. So if you check in to this video, we always welcome you to share it, to comment, to ask a question. You can do whatever you want there. The home is right behind me. You know, it's October 31st when I'm doing this video, so it's it's actually nice and sunny out, but it's at the point where pretty soon I'll have to wear a jacket. I don't I don't have a jacket on yet, but pretty soon I'll have to start wearing jackets. I can see my breath, uh, but it's I you know what I don't like wearing a jacket until I have to. So we're gonna we're gonna not put a jacket on until I absolutely have to. So we're gonna talk about this home a little bit more, which means I flip the camera, give you the tour, then at the end I flip it back and you'll get to see the home. So give me a second here. All right, here we are. It does have a three car garage and see that front porch. And this is a Rambler style home. So, you know, you got the split entries, you've got the multi levels. Rambler is that one level living, and this does have a main floor laundry. And that three car garage is heated, and you can relax on the front porch. So, this one, you know, I'm not saying any home works better for a certain type of person, but this home's a flexible home. Sometimes people are downsizing and retiring and want a Rambler, and sometimes people are just getting started, and instead of going with a split, they'd like to take a Rambler home like this. So, there's room to add a deck here. This was on a corner lot, so you've got a decent sized yard. It is in a neighborhood, obviously, as you can see. And it's a two bedroom, one bath with an unfinished basement where you could add a couple bedrooms or a big family room and a bedroom, a lot of storage space down there. Plus with the three car garage, you have plenty of storage. Also peering up at the roof, it is, it's I think about a year or two years old. So newer roof, newer built home, and you know, it gives you the option to expand with the basement. And like I said, corner lot. And when you're out in Kimball, there's not a ton of homes for sale out here. You know, obviously if you follow us, we do listings all over. And some of the areas we go, there's just not going to be a lot of listings. There might be a couple other listings for sale here in the neighborhood or in the in-town area. Then in this area, obviously there's some lakes and there's some lake homes. So when you're seeing the price of 174.9 for a newer built Rambler and wondering, okay, is that good, bad? It, it's where it should be, which brings me to the topic of a normal market. So we're gonna go in the home and I'm gonna talk about the topic and show you the inside. So what is a normal market? Had a call, we're back. <laughs> As you see the kitchen, state of sale appliances, a normal market is basically where it takes a little while to sell the homes even if they're priced right. So you have more of a normal market when you are out in some of these outlying areas like Bram or Kimball or Mora or Sturgeon Lake where you might have a listing that looks great, like this is super clean. And even that it's a few years old, it, it looks like super new. You would not think that somebody lived here more than like, you know, a, a little bit. Look at the cabinet space, that whole wall is cabinets in the kitchen. So normal market, compared to say the Twin Cities and the Twin City areas this spring where you list the house and you get five offers and it gets bid up, a normal market is worth 30, 60 days maybe to sell, even if you got it priced where it should be, maybe three weeks and you know buyers make offers. You negotiate them out. It's not like a bidding war situation, and that's a normal market. I remember when I was outside, I said we got a heated, insulated garage. And if you see that string, which I'm not going to walk over and pull, there's storage space in the attic. 
area for a little extra storage space. So it's nice to have three car garage, nice obviously to have heat in it and nice to have extra storage. And like I said, some people want the Rambler style because they have everything on one level, including having the main floor laundry, obviously tons of cabinet space, decent amount of counter stop space. Dining is set up on the side of the kitchen. It's a little bit different layout, it gives you a different look. You've got the peninsula, and then like I showed you outside, we have the porch, which you can actually add a deck and even wrap around the porch. And you got a good sized living area. Vaulted ceilings as well. So a normal market, how it's been the last couple of years, you know, some people, they, they get thrown off by that. Like, how long has it been on the market? Oh, it's been on the market, you know, 70 days. Oh, my goodness, that sounds like a long time. <laughs> if, they, if they've been selling houses, like we sell a lot of homes in the closer end of the Twin Cities metro area as well, that sounds like a long time. Doesn't every house sell in a week? Um, not in the outlying areas. Sometimes if it's on the market 60, 70 days, that's just when it sells. Okay, master bedroom, walk-in closet, really large master bedroom. You got a bed, room for a chair, room for, you know, a desk, obviously with some people. You got a walk-through bath to the bathroom. Happen to have this door closed, so. Every once in a while I have somebody with me on these and then they're opening doors for me. Remember the one time I had Lucas, my five-year-old with, and he was playing in the shower or something. The only time we could get him in the shower is when he was opening doors for me at a, a walk-through on a house. Okay, second bedroom, a good size second bedroom. You know, for some people it'd be an office, for some people it'd be, you know, second bedroom for kids. I'm gonna take you downstairs, as we've already been upstairs. So a normal market, a home can be on the market 60, 70 days, and sellers are like, oh my God, that's a long time, or see buyers, that's a long time, why has it been on the market so long? That's just what a normal market would be when the market time on a home was 60, 70, 80, 90 days. And in the outlying areas, like I said, things sometimes are in the market longer. There's only so many buyers, only so many listings, only so many people moving at certain times of the year. So unfinished basements, so you could add, obviously with three windows, you got a chance to add a couple bedrooms or one bedroom wherever you want. And then with the mechanical area, you have a huge amount of storage and a room to rough in the bathroom. So that's an unfinished basement. A lot of people like to buy new homes nowadays. Hey, I'm gonna build a home, then I can finish my own basement, you know, I can do what I want with it. That all sounds good, but you're normally paying top of the market price for that, but you have a new home. Like a home like this is almost new, doesn't have a lot of wear and tear, has even like a newer roof because I think there might've been a hailstorm or something a couple years ago. And it's all ready to go. You don't have to wait to build or, you know, have a lot that's even super small. So, so these homes become good options for people. And this is a flexible home. And again, it's in Kimball, Minnesota, 174.9. And we recently listed, to, listed it. And I gave you a tour of it. And I'm going to flip the camera. All right, here I am, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so to summarize the video, I talked about a topic of a normal market. If you have questions on what's a seller's market, what's a buyer's market, what's a normal market, I describe the normal market as something where a home that's priced where it should be or in the general price range it should be takes 30, 60, maybe even 90 days to sell. The market time used to be that long. On average, the market time's still fairly long. The average market time isn't 10 days, like a lot of the listings in the spring sold in three days or five days or one day and got multiple offers. The average market time's still long because some people you know, list their property or some realtors list the property for the sellers and the price is way out of whack and then it takes forever and never sells. The idea when you're selling a home is actually pick a fair market value or really, really close to fair market value. Obviously, some people do pick an aggressive price, and that's when you have a better chance of getting multiple offers selling quick. Some people want to test the waters and go a little bit high, and, and that doesn't work that well, but it could work in some situations. And we always recommend really choosing the fair market value. So a normal market, 
a fair market value on it, what should actually work, doesn't necessarily sell in two days or three days or five days. And sometimes, like I said, that's based on the location, maybe it's based on the time of year, style of the home, a lot of different factors there. So hopefully that answers that question. And today I'm out in Kimball, like I said, yesterday is in North Branch, tomorrow I'll be in Sturgeon Lake, and we're showing off some of our listings, and if nothing else, like I said, we, we get out and about a lot, and we're happy to help you. And we're easy to work with, and obviously, flexible and accommodating we're, we're kind of all over the place as far as uh, we can get to you and, and make it happen so chuck karstensen remax results thanks for watching you're always welcome to share it and have a blessed day